What is going on, everybody? I'm Crane Speech, our world champion, coming at you. And we're here back on my boy Shanks. And yeah, Daddy Shanks coming in pretty clutch with uh, just there's a lot of stuff you can build around. And I'm just having so much fun with Shanks. It's great. This build has been clicking with my brain at least. It works for around my play style, how I'm uh, liking to just be able to flex around being aggressive and not just being able to play some audibles. And uh, yeah jump into it and some of the reason for choices and stuff but early game first turn you can the sequencing being able to play your searches and stuff pretty nice and yeah i like the extra searches because this shanks is pretty much your key to winning a lot of matchups and especially in the op09 leaders like blackbeard the shanks mirror like stuff like that I don't like the game's pacing when it goes like out so long where it just turns into RNG of who's got the most 10 drops. So that's why I got the searches to go here. But then into turn two, I love Zoro. And then I have Shirai in here as well, just because so we can be aggressive in the early game. And that's where I feel like you can take advantage in a lot of matchups because once it turn, goes so long, it just turns into that, again, the RNG of who's got the most boss drops that can drop like back to back. So I like being able to just pressure opponent early, keep their hand size down. So that way, ideally, then when you do get to drop uh, your shanks and stuff, it makes things a lot easier. But uh, yeah, so sequencing then into the next turn, obviously then uh, Yasaf, your turn three go-to option, but also gives you, again, depending on where you're going, first or second, these are like to the turn twos, but potentially uh, turn threes then are Rue, Yasop, and then again, Shiraya, Zoro. To keep things going and then i don't have rayleigh because rayleigh is rayleigh's decent but rayleigh's not good at against blackbeard and i'm not running like the counter cards or the counter event so that's why i just have a four stack of newgate and i like newgate because newgate's really good in the mirror and also if you're going like first being able to drop uh if you have yasop out being able to do the combo here to get yasop to have the yeah, Sup's ability and stuff like that is pretty nice. And then also too, just in the mirror, getting that extra Don. So your opponent can't just use leader ability to get the free block. So that way you can, again, still do some kind of hand control. So that's why I like uh, Newgate over Rayleigh. And again, I'm being aggressive over like control style. So we have three dragon. You buff this up to four, drop the search down to two if you want. I'm just where the numbers I'm at right now. But I feel like, uh, this is where you can kind of definitely address things around if you want, depending on where you want to go. And then obviously we still have our boy, Benjamin. One of my favorite cards, just because again, his ability is unique on play, it's trash. So he's a great counter to a lot of the, the older leaders and a lot of the, you know, cards like 5C Sabo and stuff like that that protect your opponent's board. But this is trash, not KO. So you can still, you know, discard whatever card that they may have. So love Ben, very, very nice. But yeah, this uh, deck, Pretty straightforward for me at least, being able to do, again, our sequencing of our going first. So our ones, our threes, our fives, stuff like that into the sevens. And then, yeah, I've been just been having a lot of fun with it. Again, I think Shanks is pretty good overall. And you can definitely build Shanks in a lot of different ways, like how you want to do it. And yeah, this has just been working for me. Obviously we got a lot of defense too. The reason why I got rid of it, I only have for our brick stuff, and then we have the, the 2Ks here with Otama, Lime Juice, and Hongo. Hongo is also really nice, a turn two option, just because Hongo's ability is activate main. So dropping this as well, like just our early options is uh, pretty solid, which I've been very much enjoying. So yeah, we'll jump in some games and see how things go. All right, we got some Luffy action here. I'm gonna go, we're gonna believe that we'll get a search or draw into a 10 shanks because I do have our solid opening hands with both Zoro and Shiraya, which I like both of those there. And yeah, now we can do, again, our main game plan of just very, very early aggression to force our opponent into needing to do stuff because we have a good balance of 2Ks. So we drop Zoro. So now they're pretty much like need Zoro to drop here this next turn because we can play around with our stuff there. So they're dropping Bond Clay. All right. Well, we can use the card action. We can minus this down. And then we can just go no. And I'll just use that anyways. So we can do that. 
All right, so that leaves us with five. So let's lead off here. We'll hit them five. Get a card out. All right, and then we'll put one here. Attack him uh, six on five. And then we drop uh, Rue and do that. So we get Rue out, holding on to Shariah for uh, this next turn potentially. So they're going seven. We'll use card action, let's minus this down, we'll go no, and then I'll use a 2k there. So we can, all right, so there's the Zoro. They're dropping that, so why I wanted to do that is, so now they're kind of forced here, and now I can block with Rue, and then we can pop this Zoro, so we can go for a one for one trade here. So they're dropping two Zoros, all right. And yeah, they'll attack seven here. So we'll just do that. So I can do that and then get rid of Azora there. Alrighty. So it leaves us with seven. And now I can go Newgate. We can just clear their whole board here, which is kind of kind of cool. So we're able to do that there. Deploy this, put one here. Let's attack them six on five. Force them to do that. And then we can rest, pop this. So there we go. And yeah, they're at 10, but if they play anything big, obviously our board is safe. So we have eight, we have five. Leaves them, so they're back to seven. Okay, and then we're still at five, five life as well. Obviously this next turn, we can play around stuff there. So they're going just 12 on eight. Okay, I'm fine with that. Obviously can't do much about that. So I get another Zoro, which is cool. But we can just do, oh here, we'll put one on. Let's attack him six. Let's see what they do here. All right, so then we'll drop dragon, go one, two, attack him seven. All right, so they're sacking their blocker there. We'll go nine. All right, so we got another one. And then we still have another Zoro as well here to just keep, keep rushing and we're just, keeping just going straight on it's pretty cool so they have sanji they're dropping stussy okay i mean you can't really do much on to us with that i'm not gonna lie to you there Ooh, and we just get big shanks so i feel like we're chilling here kind of no matter what i could just go for the game with uh actually let's just go for the game here See what they they do. So we put two on here. Let's attack seven. And then I'll just do another seven after this. Okay. So we'll put the two on here. Attack seven again. All right. And then we can drop Zoro. And then we'll put all three on. Attack eight. And they'd have to have the two Ks. So, okay. Well, see what transpires here. And yeah, there's nothing they can do because they have no defense. We still have all five life. Kind of pretty flawless, I'm not going to lie, for the sequencing there and the draws. <laughs> Worked out for us in our favor. And yeah, two Shanks, or Shanks, Shariah, uh, Newgate, Hongo, and Uda there still in our life. And there we go. Even then, with them dropping that, wouldn't have really mattered what else they would have done there. All right, we have some Doflamingo here. And we do have our search, so we can drop this. And let's grab Lucky Roo, who is, may need this guy just to play some control stuff here. So they're dropping their search. They get Jinbei, which is their go-to. Again, tough to beat if they're able to drop a multiple here. All right, so we'll attack them five. And then we'll also drop Zoro, attack him five as well. So we drop Zoro here, attack him again five, get a card back because there's no way they're gonna go down to three here. And yeah, then we can play, obviously we're gonna attack seven back. I don't have a 2K, so we're gonna lose Zoro, but it's kind of fine, because I can drop Yasop here. Because we do know that, well, I mean, we know they have Jinbei. So we're kind of forced them into needing to attack here, because if now if they drop Jinbei, yeah, so we force them into doing that. And then I guess they get Mihawk. Nothing I do about that there. So that's kind of fine. 
All right, and then, yeah, let's drop Yas up here. We'll do this, and then we'll just hack here to get a 2K out. And then this next turn, we still got them in a uh, decent spot, because again, if they drop Jinbei, they can't use leader ability. So just pretty much doing math and trying to pay attention to the info and stuff they have. So we'll just see. They may try to go flood out here. And then we're at six. All right, so they do both of those, which is fine. And we want to find take this one, get us something here. So we get, all right, so I have new gate, which I can drop, Yasop, we could clear this. And then just attack them. Uh, all right, so let me attack them five. Because I want to get this down, because it'll be a lot easier to block. Alrighty, so yeah, now we can drop new gate, do this. We'll attack them here, drop this down one. Then we can rest and then get rid of that. All right, so this is at six, this is at eight. I wanted to get rid of the six so they can't just do a, a clean swing here. And, or, okay, well, they got red rock. You know, not much I can do there. But the good news is we're kind of chilling with uh, Yasop here on the board. Our play is pretty much the same thing. So I'll probably do new gate again so I can use Yasop to clear these guys. And yeah, at least with that, again, math wise against Doflamingo, just paying attention. They need three for like leader ability and stuff. So, oh okay, yeah, they're attacking me. So they do that, trash both of those to draw one there. Um, I suppose we can just use card action, remind us that I'm going to know, and then we'll get rid of Ben here. And yeah, I'm fine with, they're leaving one up. I mean, they only attack Yas up here once. So they do that. All right, we can get rid of Rue because again, not in our next couple turns, our plan here. And okay, so they're just attack five and five. I'm fine with taking this one. All right, so we got this. I can do same thing here, put this one on. Neither of these really matter to be honest of what we want to do here. So let's just attack this seven on four. And then we can rest, do that there as well. Put two on here and attack them seven on five. Alrighty, so clear their board, which is pretty big. We got both of these up. Again, they do use too much Don. We have Shanks here and then we got big old Shanks. Now it's just gonna come down to how many more Red Rocks they got. So we can play around that. And then organizing this so we'll see what they get here as well so whatever they just organize with the uh, boa it's pretty much might determine the game with uh, the stuff here so they're at six so that is okay never mind they're just going for okay use card action so i can minus this down i can make the play keep this up Hmm, so let's drop that down. So they go Moria here. Then we'll go no, I'll go one, two, three. So we're going crazy with it. So, all right, we'll just drop this down off the rip here. Let me attack this five on four, see what they do. All right, and then now we'll attack six on four. See what they do there. Because I'm kind of fine with getting all the cards out of their hand here as well. Okay. Well, let me attack uh, 8 on 4. And then we'll use Shanks here. Attack 12 on 5. Okay. And the reason I did that is because we have another Shanks. So. Do they have Red Rock? Do If they have another one, this is gone. Which will be problematic for us. But we shall see. That is 6 though. And then they'd only be able to attack. They wouldn't be able to attack a new gate. So they drop Boa. Put one here. We're kind of chilling there. But yeah, Dofi is definitely in this matchup. I feel like you need to learn their deck so you can kind of like pay attention to their numbers wise or their options. 
And obviously the cards that kind of kill us are if they can spam this card right here, the red rock, which is six. So they're putting all these on. They're attacking there. So they do that. Obviously I can't block out of this one. So we're kind of fine with that. And okay, so we have that there. We'll drop yet a, another one here. So this is down to four, this is down to four. Let me just tack this here to get a 2K out, potentially. And then we're still at three life. They called it good with the other stuff they have here. So no 2Ks in hand for them. But yeah, we hit the back-to-back -back shanks. And obviously since we were able to play some board control with our new gates and stuff as well, just able to avoid that. But again, in this matchup, if they're able to spam the red rocks, normally that puts us in trouble. And then especially the only other thing is early game is if they're, if they're able to hit back-to-back -back Jinbeis and like back-to-back -back red rocks, then you're kind of cooked. But if they only hit one, you only see one of each, you probably should be okay, especially if you have two shanks. So we're able to come out on top on Doflamingo for, for this one at least. All right, we got Doflamingo here. They're hitting the Perona. Alrighty. So they're gonna be, we'll have to pay attention to where they're sending things. So again, this is probably the, the hardest matchup I feel like at least have I've played. So they put it on top. So that means they can hit something there. So we'll drop this. All right, unfortunately, then we're gonna send two new gates there. So we gotta drop a uh, Hongo here, but okay. This was, we get to see what they hit here. So, okay, that's pretty fortunate for us. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, just so we can get some defense. And all right, um, right, let's attack him here. Five and five, see what they do. And then, all right, then I'm gonna drop Zoro. So we'll drop Zoro here, put one here, and then I'll attack this six on six. We get another card out of their hand now. And again, we got some 2K, so I can try to keep Zoro alive here. So we'll see, or they hit, okay, they're dropping pudding, which is actually kind of decent there. Um, all right, I'm fine taking this one. Because I just wanted to, okay, so now we'll minus this down and go there. Hmm. All right, we'll do Shariah here. Okay. So this is at six. I am gonna put, we'll put one here. I mean, I'm just playing hand control. If I can, if we can hand starve them, that'll make things way easier. Ooh, okay, so we're able to do that. So let's drop, uh, take that there. All right, um, all right. Well, let's drop another Zoro then. We're just gonna go all gas, no brakes. All right, there we go. Bop them down, put them here. They hit us with the pudding, but next turn we can drop dragon. So, oh, okay, or they're attacking us. Interesting, uh, use card action. We can mice them down here. All right. So they bounce that back, which is fine. We can go Otama here. Alrighty. And then they have the four. So I don't know if they'll play something or if they attack with pudding, I mean, then they attack with pudding. But they do know that we have Zora back in our hand. So we'll see if I'll be at eight. Oh, okay, they're attacking me. Interesting. Ooh, we get Shanks. Okay. But, all right, I'm gonna be honest, would not have expected them to do that. I'm just gonna attack this and get some cards out of hand then. So I'm at eight, because I can play dragon. So let's just attack this five on five, get something out. Let's see what they do. Alrighty, so now we're gonna drop this, go one, two. Attack them seven on five. Now they have to get rid of two more, if they wanna do that. All right, and then, okay. Get rid of all, everything there. So they're here at nine. Obviously, then next turn, I can drop this Shanks. We were able to do that. We got a little bit of counter here to keep things up. So they're attacking me. Um, They're doing that. I guess we'll see where they put that at. So we'll just do, we'll just see what they, they play around here. Um, nine on five there, so we'll take that. 
I'm fine with. Leaves him with five. Okay, um, minus this down. We'll go seven, and then eight, nine. So we'll just do that and that. Okay. So it leaves us with 10. So we'll drop uh, the big shanks down. So this is down to three. This is down as well. All right, well, let me tack this five on five. Is, uh, again, if I just get the cards out of their hand here, we're kind of chilling. So we'll tag this five on three. All right, and then we'll tack uh, nine on five, and then we'll tack 12 on five. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. We have one, they have one. Again, we have, I have another dragon. So if they do have red rock to get rid of shanks, that only leaves them with four. Obviously, then we're kind of chilling here. So, we got the, the aggression. We got three rush in a row here. The rush squad. But yeah, playing a little bit bored because I don't want to be jacked up on uh, cards in hand. I mean, okay. I guess they're just going for it. So yeah, nothing they can do. Use card action, do that, do that. And then we can go this and this. So, all right, I assume that is GG's there. So there we go. Got back to back dubs on Doflamingo. But again, they didn't see, they get Jimbe and or Red Rock. So that is how it kind of goes. If they they kind of have to get those cards, I feel like, to, to beat us. But it, then it just comes down to, yeah, if they get those cards or not. So yeah, we'll take, a, you know, another dub on Doflamingo. All right, we got the Shanks Mirror here. We do not have the best opening. But I may make a little, we may go try to test out Hongo here with our, our stuff. So let's just swing here, see what they do. All right, so yeah, they do that. So let's drop Hongo. So we can just be chilling on the board. Obviously we don't have uh, too many other things to do, but we'll see. All right, they're just swinging. So they also don't have anything to play. <laughs> so that works for us. All right, we can now drop a uh, Yasop here. Attack them here, see what they do. They take one back. So both of us, obviously not the best of hands, but we'll see what uh, they're able to drop here for six. So the pretty much best play would be Yasop again. Or, okay, yeah, Rue there. Um, What do I wanna do? Let me, what is the, we'll use our card action. We can drop this down, we'll go no, and then we'll get rid of Rue here. He's uh, not going to be playing him the next uh, few turns here. So we'll see what we're able to do with all of our stuff here. All right. Um, well, let's drop a uh, new gate. So we put one here. We'll attack them here, minus this down. So we'll just see what they do there. So they're able to do that. So they do that there. All right. Well, we got Rue out of the way. Newgate's on the board. Probably could have did that sequence like a little better because to uh, to attack there because obviously they would have had to sack that there. But we got them at eight, and now we got this nice little combo of Hongo and Newgate. So they're going Rayleigh. All right, well, we lo we're losing Hongo. <laughs> okay, so nine. I do have Dragon. Unfortunately, can't get this down low enough because we could have uh, been able to do that there. So, dragon here. We put one on. Let's attack them. Six on five. And then we'll drop dragon, attack them a couple more times here. And then we're just going, going to the back to back, the shank show after that. So, all right. Drop a dragon down. Put both of those on there. So now we can attack seven. Get another 2k out of their hand here. And then we'll attack them nine, which I assume they're taking this one. Alrighty. So they're at 10. See what they do. So they're dropping the big shanks. Obviously this one can attack. So this will attack 12 on eight. Um, We'll go no, we'll do that and then that. And then they're attacking there. Hmm. I mean, I could make the play here. Keep those up. 
you know what? Why not? We'll go there and we'll do this and this. We'll uh, we'll we'll keep it going there as well. Um. All right. Let me attack him here. Let's see if we can draw out leader ability. Okay. Because now I can drop this down as well. So this is at seven. This is at seven. So let me attack eight on seven here. Let's see what they do there. All right. Um. Attack seven on seven. Get another card out of their hand. Okay. And then we'll attack them um, eleven on seven. So we'll do that. So we're able to get that there. All righty. And all right, they drop another one. Okay. <laughs> so eleven on seven. Okay. They attack that there. All righty. And then they're going, oh, 11 on 10. And so we can just do that, drop that down. We'll go no, we can do this. Okay. And then five on five, I'm fine with taking this one. Okay. So now we can drop another Shanks back. So able to do that. I'll attack them here. We'll see what they do. So they're taking the hit there. Okay. So now we'll attack them here. Six and five. So they do that. So these are all at 10. I mean, I could just pressure them here because I have the three. So let's just do this then. We'll call an audible. And we can just go for the game. So we just do that and this. So all right, they're minus down. I guess they're going, staying up. So they do that and a 2K. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens here then. We got them at one. They're dropping the Uda. We'll see what they're able to search. Cause they do have Dragon. So they got Ben Beckman. All right. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst play for them to drop Ben to do that. Okay. So that's what they, they do. So they're going there. Um. Well, I'm fine with that. And then we'll use our card action, minus this down, go no, counter that one out. And then five on five, fine with this as well. So, all right, we can, they don't have a blocker, so I can go 10. We drew Zoro, so we can make a play here as well. These would all have to be two Ks. And yeah, I don't, I'm assuming that they ain't got it. And yeah, able to pivot there a little bit. We just need the one shanks. That's kind of fun though. We all got the, the shanks on the boards here. So now I can just go, oh wait, let's go. Forgot they can go leader ability. Don't want to make a misplay there. So we just do that. And then obviously I guess it doesn't really matter, but we can throw down Zoro here and then go there. Nine on five. They only have the one card and yeah, GG's on that. I guess we could have dropped Dragon there as well for, for funsies. Probably would have been a better play. Dragon into Shanks, so I could have attacked, but I mean, they had nothing in hand, so it didn't really matter too much there. But yeah, get the, the mirror W on uh, them as well, and we'll take it. All right, we got some Shanks v. Shanks here. They got their search there. They get the 2K already, and we're able to drop Uda. And what do I want to drop here? Hmm. I have this. Do I want Yasop? Or do we want to search and then try to look for the big shanks? That is the question. Because uh, I do have the next couple of turn plays. So I'm going to grab this and then let's drop this and look for. All right. Well, that did not work. But kind of okay with that because now we've filtered out cards. So hopefully we can get close to the 10 cost shanks for our end game. And okay, so they're doing that there. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm fine with taking this one. Just to get a little bit of cards in hand here. So they got the the stage. Interesting. Alrighty. Um, we'll put one here. Let's see what they do. If they use leader ability, then I'll drop Zoro. If they don't, then I'll drop Shariah. All right. They did not, so we're dropping Shariah. Alrighty. So they take one back. They have five. They got the red force here. Again, we're loaded up on some 2Ks. 
So they do that. They're attacking us there. I'll just go no, we'll go no. We can block this one. Leaves them with four. They drop in Rue. Alrighty. So let's put one here and then attack them. Cause obviously if they pop Rue, we're losing Shrai anyways. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, so they decide to we block that there. Alrighty. Attack him six again. Okay, and then we'll drop the uh, Zoro down and attack him six again. So, alright, they keep Rue on the board. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. I thought they would have sacked one to keep someone, uh, someone chilling here. Cause again, we got we got the two Ks to go right back. So they have seven. Um, no, we'll go no, and then block this there. Use well, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go no. We can block here. So that leaves them with seven. So they're dropping Ben. Okay. So we're at eight. Um, what do I want to do here? Because I drop this, buff this up, attack. Not have to worry. I could just pop this at the end. But all right, let's drop this down. We'll do this here. So now I can attack them. A six on five here. We'll see what they do. And then we have the one left over, so I can track six on five again. Alrighty, so we'll do that. Attack him again here. So minus it, us down. Okay, and then if I pop this, they get rid of Zoro. And then we're just kind of doing trades here. Or do I force them to attack Zoro once? I think we'll do that because that way uh, Zoro will serve as kind of as a blocker. So we'll play around with stuff there. But I also pop Ben Beckman with uh, Newgate's ability as well here. Um, hmm. You know what? We'll do this. We'll go no. Let's just play that there and be annoying. So that way we we'll force them to attack like one more time here. Okay. So it leaves them here. They're dropping Snake. All right. So, snake on the board, you know, not the most ideal, but it is what it is. We get another Otama, that's kind of crazy. And then also drop in Hongo here, okay. So, they're gonna try to get rid of Arshanks here, I believe, but I could drop Yasop, boost ourselves up here. I have an Otama to easily get rid of Ben Beckman if I wanted to just go here. All right, let's uh, drop this down. We'll go here. I kind of want to, so we need one that leaves me with four. Hmm, so I could attack them, see what they do. All right, because then I can put the rest here and attack. So let me attack them six on five. Then we drop Otama, we can pop this. So we can do that there, and then I can now rest. We can get rid of that there, and then we'll put the other four here. All right, now let's attack them six and five. Let's see what they do with this. So not, people don't expect the the Uda the Uda play, <laughs> but that is why I like having like just cards on the field. It's just nice. And yeah, now next turn. So they drop their shanks. So they're going two on one. I mean, I'm buffed up here. So they have to attack there. Um, fine with that, obviously. So they're dropping everything down so they can attack this, what, five on three. Um, 
Let me see what the, the numbers here. All right, I'm kind of fine with that. So 12 and five, okay. So they do all this stuff here. So this is at five. Let me attack them here just to see what they do. All right, and then we'll attack them again. See what they do here. So they drop that, hmm. I'll drop my shanks here and we'll make a play here. Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. Again, we have all these 2Ks. So I guess we'll see what they do. Are they gonna go for the play now? So they do have Hongo 11 here. Um, We go no, we go no, and then we can go this and this. So I guess we'll see if they load up. Oh, okay, have they got another one? All right, um, use the card action, minus that down, we'll go no, we'll go this and this. <laughs> so, all right, we gotta take this hit though, so I get something here. Well, we get dragon, they only have this, so I could drop here, and we can go for the game. So, pretty much what we have to do, so we can go one, two. All right, um, so this is at seven. All right, so we'll put one on here. So they have to take this. All right, and then we put one here. Attack them eight again. And if they block out of this, they win. If not, we're probably okay. All right, and then we'll attack them 10 on five. And depends on what they got there. And they do not get enough, so there we go. Back to back. Shanks dubs, we're able to come out on top. That one was close though, down to the wire. Would have just depended on what they got. And yeah, they don't have the counter for us there. We were able to make the little play, go for a game the previous turn to block out, keep our shanks up. And yeah, everything came together. But yeah, again, you guys know, I love shanks. I'm having fun with uh, all of our stuff here. I like to, for me personally, just prioritize the early game, being able to make sure I can control like opponent hand size and then just be very, very aggressive. So that's why I do like Shariah and Zoro a lot and things are been clicking for me with the with this Jenks build.